Final questions around young people. The system takes uh, from millennials and gives to baby boomers. Somebody's written, how will you help millennials to thrive in Northern Ireland? Like, I, I really think that a society's resources should be based on need, on objective need. Um, I think that um, everything we had in our last manifesto, I think that every child that would be born would be given, it was a small sum of money, but it was an investment in their future that would be put in DNIs for them when they turn 18. And I think things like that, they're not going to change the world, but they're a small investment. So I'm a big believer in early years, but I do believe that at every stage of your life, particularly at vulnerable stages, and that can happen at any age, you should have the protections of the state. Is it time for a properly integrated education system with teachers trained at one college and pupils educated together? I think that if you're going to really be serious about healing division and fragmentation in our society, then education and the bringing together in an educational setting is really important. Um, but I believe there are different ways of doing that and I think shared education is one where there's huge potential. So parents have choice. So you can send your child to school, a faith-based school, because you, they want that ethos, but there should be maximum opportunities for them to be in an educational setting with shared learning with people of other faiths and none. What's your party's view on university fees? Too high, too low, sustainability? Well, we had said in our last manifesto about increasing university places and reducing uh, university fees. And we calculated out how we were going to pay for that. And why we did that is because we have a grave concern that with the increase in tuition fees, third level education is only going to be accessible by people who come from more wealthy backgrounds than from those who don't. And we don't think that that's either fair uh, as a principle, but we don't think that leads to a very healthy or vibrant economy. Okay, so in the last minute, some really quick wrap up questions. What are the top three reasons you think Christian young persons should vote for you or your party? Um, because you should always be looking to improve society and the quality of life of other people. One of the key ways of doing that is exercising your democratic right and ensuring that you have the right people in there making the decisions that impact on everybody's life. What book are you reading at the moment or did you last read? I'm reading a book called The God of Small Things by an author. It's, um, I can't actually remember the name, it's a foreign um, author, but in saying that I'm so cream cracker when I go in at night, uh, I don't actually think I'm reading it, I just scan the pages. What's your favourite post canvassing snack? Um, a jar of pickles, mixed pickles. <laughs> what would be the title of your biography? Gosh, I don't know. I don't think anybody would be interested in reading that, so... Mm. Favourite movie? Um, Big Fish. And how many seats do you think your party's going to win? Well, we're hoping to return all, but we're realistic that when we're dropping at least one MLA in each of the 18 constituencies, you know, people are going to be hurt somewhere. Um, but I really hope that as many of us can come back because we really are determined to try to make a positive difference in politics and life in Northern Ireland. Nicola Mellon, thank you very much. Thank you.